The actress Jennifer Lawrence already has an Oscar, a string of hit movies, and probably more on the way. She has become enormously popular, but now she's really dealing with the downside of fame. An alleged stalker is under arrest this morning, accused of harassing both her and her family, and going to extremes to try and meet the star. ABC's John Schriffen is in Los Angeles with this story. Hey, John. Hey, Bianca and Dan, good morning. According to court documents, the alleged stalker found Jennifer Lawrence's brother's information on a website for the family summer camp for kids. After repeated calls, emails, text messages went unanswered, well, that's when the fan allegedly became more aggressive, trying to meet the family in person. In movies, Jennifer Lawrence is used to fending off attacks in The Hunger Games, Superpower Mutant in X-Men, and even occasionally getting shot down by Bradley Cooper in Silver Linings Playbook. Why don't you run somewhere else? Now, she's facing a real-life foe that police say is much more dangerous. This morning, Han Kong Zhao, a Chinese-born Canadian citizen seen here in court, is behind bars on a $100,000 bail charged with stalking Jennifer Lawrence's brother, Blaine. According to Zhao's arrest warrant, he attempted to contact Blaine Lawrence more than 200 times in April. Then, decided to fly to Kentucky to find Lawrence in person. Once in town, prosecutors say Zhao left Lawrence this threatening voicemail saying, quote, when I'm upset, wait and see what happens. In Hollywood, we take this extraordinarily seriously. And I can tell you law enforcement takes it very seriously too. Zhao was arrested when Indian Hills police say he asked the chief of police for help contacting Lawrence's parents. Once released, Zhao allegedly went back to the chief with two letters for Jennifer Lawrence. Because Jennifer Lawrence is so sweet and accessible, fans get this perception that she'd like to hang with them. Jennifer, who spent the weekend at the Cannes Film Festival, has become loved for her regular gal antics. This isn't like an auction, right? Falling on the stairs to accept her Oscar win, Jack Nicholson showing some love in a post-Oscars win interview with GMA, and how about photobombing Sarah Jessica Parker at the Met Gala one of the biggest fashion events of the year. And our expert says typically celebrities have plenty of security, but their families don't. That's why they are believed to be more accessible. Now, as for this alleged stalker, he is due back in court in July. That's when the trial is expected to start. But Dan and Bianca, this is a, certainly a frightening situation for this family who told police they have no idea who this guy is. Yeah, and it's not over with a trial coming. John, thank you.